Okay, so in x path axis is I'll be first uh, showing this one ancestor. Okay, so what do you mean by ancestor uh, in general? Mm -hmm. Yes, ancestor is the something for the parents and the parents of parents, something like that, right? Yep. So let's see how we can find ancestor in this particular case. In this, if I go to this, uh, maybe some other things. Maybe, maybe, maybe which one? Let's see. SQL. Fine. So in this particular page, I'll be inspecting this. Fine. I want to find all the web elements ancestor of uh, this particular thing, uh, this particular uh, web element. That means in our case, you can see uh, in this case here, if I find input, what are the ancestor of the input? The div, then the form, uh, this div, then all the things present be, uh, you know, before this particular input, all are called ancestors, right? Fine. So, how to find ancestor of this particular web element? First of all, we need to find this web element. If we know this particular web element, how we can write this? Control F. Or what I have just not told you how to copy the X path, right? How we can copy the X path is just right click on that particular web element, go to the copy, copy X path. Fine. You can see you should be able to write this particular thing over here. Right? Are you able to find out? Yes, it is. Now we know this particular web elements, uh, locators, and also uh, no worries of the, uh, this particular web element. Fine. So, how to find uh, the ancestor of this particular web element? Okay, just right click on this. Right and sorry, ancestors and double colon. Okay, colon colon and the right. You can see everything before these are selected. Five things. Fine. You can see here the five of five. That means this particular web element has, uh, you know, five uh, ancestors present before it. Okay. Got it? Yes. Suppose this is my web. Okay, one second. This is my web element. I want to find other web element. Uh, right click on this. Then go to copy, then copy X path, fine. And you will be able to copy the X path from here and just, you know, right over here, fine. Mm, okay, so in this case, the ancestor, how to find the ancestor is, write this. So what it will do is, Find all the ancestor uh, node nodes of this particular uh, web element. Okay. Okay. So if I want to find a particular web element of this particular uh okay suppose i have this web element i want this particular web element i know okay and i want the uh, this one suppose div one or maybe some specific one not all i just want some specific all right so how to do ancestor 
colon colon then instead of star i need to write those link or the path okay so you can see there is the three of them three of, of having the div or uh, we can see if there is a link present or not no no nothing okay so what i can do is uh, i can write something um what i can do where uh, the body the head body let's see body uh, yes body is here okay so if you want to find a particular uh, web element then you need to write like this way or if you want to be more specific you can write uh, body then the contains and all whatever uh, you can write for this body as well right i can write something like this okay let's see other it uh, what i can say is style equals okay now it's also working fine right you can see for a specific yes web element yes yes like this way okay you need to write for that specific one or suppose uh, there is uh, this one one second and suppose you have uh, this particular uh, this web element if you know this web element the bottom one you can see a lot of things are present for this okay if i copy this xpath and write over here fine this is 51 and if you write the ancestor of this sorry ancestor ancestors or ancestor ancestor i believe okay colon uh, yeah then star then you can see five because within this particular uh, sections we have only okay ancestor means it will not uh, you know it will not show you this particular things this the ancestor okay let me just show you that uh, the no okay fine so if i find the ancestor of this particular thing it will not show this input because it is in the same level right it is the parent one only it will show the parent of this uh, so parent of this is with div so what is the parent of the div it will show the form then what is the parent of the form it will show the div what is the uh, parent of the div is this div okay not this particular div or not this script it, it will not come th uh, these all are not included only the parent one okay parent of parent and parent here you can see the span one if i want to find this uh, this spans ancestors so it will not include this input why because it is in the same level or the it is the uh, not the parent one it's the uh, it's a sibling right input is the sibling to this particular span okay not the parent one the parent is this the divs uh, the div has two child i can say input and span fine if we write the ancestor it will go to the div and the divs ancestor also it will find form right and the forms it will be go to div so like that way fine in this case in this case uh, if i go to this particular thing it will also find the five because uh, these all are in the same level a all the links all the links these all links are in the same level siblings right 
So it will go to the header or maybe a body or something like that. So we have a five. If I go some other things, let's see, I have this thing, uh, this particular print page. Okay, let's see, let's uh, find out this uh, web element, find out this particular ancestor. Colon, colon, star. Okay. Okay, I have given incorrect. It has the sixth. Okay, it has six ancestors. Got it, the concept? Fine. So, I have written that ancestor. Okay, fine. So you can uh, write like this way. So when we wa want to use this particular thing, if there is something, uh, you know the child one and the parents uh, ID and uh, attributes are dynamic. In that case, we can use this way to find uh, this ancestor, right? And the next one, we can have the ancestor or self. So, what it will do, okay. So, it will select all the ancestor and self. And uh, self as well. Okay, let's see uh, if we use ancestor self. Yes. No, 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 not that one. Let, let's see. Let's see. Uh, what is the name? Or self, right? Or Okay, if I go the, uh, this, previously it was showing seven, excluding the same, right? Uh, let's see, let me just show you that thing. Uh, in this case, okay, if I want uh, to find the span's ancestor, what it did is, it directly uh, went to this particular div, then all the parent of that div form, then all. Uh, it was not included the, this one span, right? But when we use ancestor or self, it will include the span as well. Then it will select this one as well. Then it will select the div and all the things, the div form, then everything like that way. Okay, it will include itself. Fine. So that's why if you, if you can see previously it was showing six, now it's seven, seven elements present. If I go to just delete this, only ancestor is present, you can see only six. Got it? So you can write, this is also same way. Okay. Or you can select uh, like this way also, any specific you want to select, then you can also select that one. Then we have third one, right? Uh, you can see we have attributes as well. Select all the attribute of the current nodes. Okay, suppose uh, this attribute. Let's see uh, how it works. This is my current node. If I write attribute, okay, star, it will select all the attributes. Okay, all the attributes over here. You can see this particular thing. It will select the href, it will select on click, it will select. That means if we have ID, we ha if we have a name, if we have a type, 
or text so everything will be selected if we uh, write the uh, you know uh, this attribute or you can uh, select like this way target okay let's see yes particular thing this will select this one or if you have uh, this text okay it's not clicking print page let's see if it is working because attribute right it will select all the attributes print is this working no because uh, this is not an attribute attribute is something the uh, key and value right this on click is a key and the value of this particular thing is this particular thing right like id uh, and the name we have the uh, id is a key and the value is that value of that particular thing right so like that way so attribute will select everything that uh, has uh, you know that href the target then on click or the print okay if i write like this way so it will select all fine if you want to uh, select a specific value and you want to get those value then you can write the attributes okay when it is useful yeah <laughs> but exactly in selenium when it is useful one second fine so in selenium when uh, it is useful is oh my god fine so basically in selenium suppose there is some attribute okay called disabled equal to true or enable equal to true all right so if you want to test this particular uh, uh, section or this particular input box is uh, enabled or disabled all right so in that case what we can do we can write this attribute and write like this way okay disable okay disable and uh, we can get that particular web element and we can get the value of that particular thing all right yeah this way we can use this then coming to the next one we have a child so it, this is more important okay uh, this child is uh, has more importance in xpath access fine how how we need to write this child in our xpath so that means suppose there is a dropbox the parent okay in this particular thing I, I can show you in here okay the form has how many childs for child efg right g after g seven child okay not included in this particular thing because this is the child of div then right so this form has seven child like this way we can use the child attribute as well suppose this is my parent class just copy the xpath over here okay and if i write like this way the child fine and the star okay <coughs> it will select a uh, three child it it says it has three child okay let's see what are the three childs form span h2 then form got it 
the all child to it it will so can write like this way it will select all the child of current node fine and if you want to select any specific child of it so how you can do instead of star star is a wild character right wild character we use to uh, you know using xpath or regular expressions right so if i want to write for h2 right you can see specific one also we can write all right this one If we want to, yeah, the child is uh, done. Uh, then we have descendant. All right. So in the descendant, just uh, you know, uh, remember this important uh, expert axis is. It will be very very important and it will be useful when you will write some you know advanced expats. This is more important. So descendant would let's see what a descendant will work and will do. If we write the descendant over here and the right uh, star, so you can see the fun, uh, fifteen. Uh, this thing is present. Okay, let's see what all things are present. Form D the input uh, this thing this thing so that means what happens in this particular case is descendant all the things present uh, inside that but in case of child what happens is you can see uh, the child uh, the forms child is seven right sorry the forms has seven child only right as we said uh, this one till g g all right but in case of uh, descendant, what it will select? It will select input. It will select this one. This will select the div. This div. Then it will also select the uh, you know child of this particular thing also. The this input, then this uh, span also, and then div and the div. So all, everything whatever present within this uh, form, it will select. Is child as well as the child's child fine you can also read over here select all the descendant children grandchildren etc of the current node fine the same thing you can write here descendant means it will Select child and grandchild of the current node. Fine. So let's see. Descendant all, it will select the everything present within that so you can write one example over here fine then uh, then coming to the sixth one the descendant or the self right so what it will do it will also select the uh, itself right as we have uh, seen in case of this one this particular thing ancestor or self it will select all the ancestor and self all right the, so in in this case also it will select all the child and grandchild and itself as well 
child and grandchild and itself fine so let's see the example so in this case it is 15 right in the descendant so if i write descendant or self let's see uh, maybe something wrong yep you can see 16 it was previously 15 now it's 16 right so what you can do and right away descendant or self means it will select all the childs and the grandchilds or itself as well all right that means let me show you yes yes that means like uh, this one uh, this form so in this case this is my form from uh, this tag okay within that suppose i have i need to write the descendant so what all the thing will be selected in the form forms descendant what are the descendant of this form input uh, this input then div div then input this also this also will include because child and grandchild all right so this all will be selected okay so till here uh, till div right g fine but descendant will not include this form if you write the descendant it will come from here only here a b then this one till g till g or including all but if you write descendant or self it will include this one as well fine form also got it okay then we have uh, the seventh one we have uh, this thing uh, following okay it will select everything in the document after closing the tag of the current clause uh, this uh, node okay so following will work something like that it's a very good uh, features of xpath access following following means let's see let's see the example so that you can understand better okay if i write uh, this particular thing okay so it will select everything whatever present after that it will select everything following okay you can see it has 136 uh, elements selected that means everything whatever present after this particular web element okay or if you can write for this suppose i have this particular thing copy the x path and write here if i write the following from here so everything in html whatever present from here it will select everything child grandchild parent whatever present after that it will select everything let me just run it okay you can see the 403 uh, elements present after that fine that means in in this i can show you if you okay this is my form okay so if you write this from here you you sorry yes yes if you write uh, the following it will select uh, this one this one this one and also this one this one till here everything till the html end everything it will be selected particular thing yes yes we'll see we'll see that one so yes it will select everything suppose i want uh, this particular thing okay this particular thing maybe yeah this so what i can write okay this one i want to the same thing we, what i can write 
we can write the a anchor tag then uh, what we need to write is our contents similar same way yep text or whatever you want like this way yes uh, let's see something wrong fine okay so now it will select only one directly it will come to this particular thing so when we'll use this particular concept suppose there are a lot of dynamic uh, values or dynamic ids dynamic uh, uh, things are present or dynamic classes are there in this particular thing so we cannot rely on the dynamic things right so in that case if i find something that is more reliable uh, has a static you know id or name or password uh, name id or any other attributes so i can, what i can do is i'll take that as a reference or that as a, a relative to that particular uh, web element i can find uh, this way following okay and it will select everything after that and i can go ahead and write the expat from there itself fine okay Fine. So what it will select is, it will select, just tell me, all the tags, yep, all the nodes, okay, yes, 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 the, the opposite one, the opposite one, from that web element to the top, whatever present, all right. yes 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 fine and then coming to the next one we have the following sibling okay this is also more important sibling means what what do you understand by the siblings brothers right Yes, yes, in the same level, all right? Select all the nodes uh, in the same level. Right, so in this case, uh, following sibling means uh, if I have uh, this input, Okay, suppose I have another also. Let's see. Okay, I have the third one is maybe some div. Fine. So, what it will select if you write uh, input? Okay, I know the input's uh, ID. Then, if I want here the following following siblings siblings okay it will select a span and div right let's see how it works oh. okay whatever Fine. So let's see in our case how it will work following siblings. And here, if I write, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, this one. Okay. If I take this particular thing, okay, let's see what all the things are present. Okay, this particular, just observe this one. Uh, we are going to 
uh, write the following chip link for this particular uh, SQL alias. Get this particular thing. If I write following siblings star uh, something wrong. Uh, yeah. Okay. You can see all the things after this particular. Okay. After this. Yes. Yes. If you click the enter, it will show all the things present after that. Okay. Everything in the following uh, siblings. Okay. Because these all. Right. The same thing. Same thing in a right. Like if you want to select uh, this thing, if you know uh, if you know this particular thing, then you, you you can find this one, this one, this one, okay, which are whichever in the same level. So in that case, we need to write the following siblings, right? And any specific one you can write like this way as well. Suppose I want this SQL comment. So what I can write, which one? Let's see. Uh, Okay, everything whatever present after this that will be highlighted in in DOM, right? In yellow, you can see like this way. Suppose I am trying to uh, write for a particular a web element or particular node which were present after this. Okay, so what I can write like this way, the same way, the same concept. What I can write? Yes, yes. Having the same uh, level, right? Whichever present in the same level, we can select that. The child and grandchild that cannot be. Yeah. No, I'm not uh, getting you. Yes, this one. Okay, let, let, let me remove this. Okay, you can see. You can see everything is, uh, let me, let me, right, okay. Okay, what happens is if you write 21, it has a multiple things. This ID has multiple links as well. Okay, so that's why, uh, let's see. Why this this thing are highlighted? It should only highlight this particular one because it it is having the twenty one uh, link. Okay, there might might be some issue. It is so. Don't worry. So just consider on this particular thing. SQL aliases. We have uh, selected this by default. It's uh, being selected, but I should not select these things. Okay, because in twenty one, this only one uh, link should be there because you know this div has uh, you you count this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, something like that. It will only select this particular thing. Okay. So consider this particular thing like SQL aliases is being selected. Now, if you write following sibling, following, if you write followings, it will select everything, right? If I write following sibling, star, star, uh, this one, then it will select everything. 49 all right everything it will be selected you can see this one also is being selected this one this one okay okay got it 49 so if i want a particular thing to be selected what i can write is instead of star i can write a tag name as anchor a the same way we can write Contents, all right, other text.
Okay. The text, anything you can write, like suppose I want to select anything, anything. All right. You can write like this way. Let's see. Oh, there is some. There is some. Is okay. I have forgot this things. Okay. Now see, it is highlighting this one. Only this one. Uh, there is some. Uh, yeah. There is some error with it uh, because I need to refresh. Okay. That's why it's highlighting. Uh, okay. Just forget this one. Okay. It's highlighting the only one web element. One of one. That means only one SQL exists is present over here. Right. So like this way also you can write in this having the same level okay right? and the next one you can see namespace select all the namespace node of the current uh, node let's see how it works it's a more uh, we don't use much for the namespace but yeah it's also important if you write namespace Okay, start all, let's see. It is not showing anything. Let's see if I write for a div. This is my div, let's see. Okay, it select this. <coughs> Namespace star. I'm just not selecting. Okay, what is the condition? Select all the namespace nodes of the current node. Okay, the current node having the same name, it will select all the nodes. Okay, if you know this particular thing, it will select everything having the same uh, criteria. Okay, generally, we don't use the namespace. Then current, uh, coming to the parent one, this is most important and widely used. I used to use this particular thing, the parent, okay? The parent means it will select the parent of that particular node. Okay, suppose I have div, so it will select which one if I write parent? Parent of this, let's see. It will select the body one, because the div's parent is body. You can see if you collapse this, you can see this body will come. If you expand it, within that, there is a div. Okay? Fine? Okay. <clears throat> you can write like this way or name of that particular activity uh, like this way. Suppose the uh, if you know this child has something uh, reliable expat, if you, if you are able to find this uh, child, but uh, your aim is to find the is parents ID right but parent ID is <laughs> attribute has you know uh, dynamic one so what you can do first find the child then uh, write parent so it will automatically select this particular uh, parents uh, node right so in that case we can write a parent select the parent of that child it will select current node okay then uh, we have another things yes preceding preceding is more important also preceding Okay, select all the nodes that appear before the current node in the uh, this thing document except ancestor attribute. So same same thing, but different. Uh, the opposite one of uh, this following. Okay, following sibling, preceding sibling, same thing. Okay, let's see. 
if you write here, in this case, uh, suppose I want um, anything of this, okay, let's see. Copy XPath. Okay, now you know this particular web element, XPath. So if I write preceding, okay, so let's see, it will select everything before that, before this particular thing, okay, everything child as a grandchild parent okay you can see it will select everything all right 316 it will select everything before it right preceding means as a before and preceding sibling means uh, yes the thing is here you can see preceding sibling means it will select uh, suppose i know this particular thing i want to find the span one okay it will uh, go in opposite direction the sibling right it, it will select the span and an input fine no, not all, not the, the uh, div and all. It will select only because we have written only siblings, right? Preceding siblings. That means it will select a span and input. If we write uh, preceding, so it will select all everything, span, these, these, whatever. All right. Got it? No, no, not the top one. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Preceding siblings. Okay. If you write this, it has 25 because you can see all, everything before this, all the links uh, is sibling to this particular, na? This, uh, this thing, all right? It will select only those, not all, all right? Got it? This is the preceding sibling. Fine. It will select everything. Uh, to that particular current, uh, you know, siblings, current nodes are having the same level, it will select everything before that particular uh, tag, okay, in the same level. The opposite to following siblings, all right? It is uh, opposite to following, all right? Select everything uh, that is, uh, you know, in the current, you can see this select all the node that appear before the current node in the current except ancestors attribute nodes and a namespace nodes okay then preceding sibling that we have already uh, discussed this one as well select all the sibling before the current node okay then self self select the current nodes okay self means the self one uh, right self it will select uh self what you can self we'll select the current node fine you can i uh, use that as well uh, in here Radix self, you can see to like, like this way the self only one. 
Okay. Fine. Any doubt here? Like in uh, expert axes, these are most important, uh, you know, concept uh, while you are uh, writing any dynamic uh, expats or relative expats. Okay. Any doubt? Anything? Preceding, following, sibling. All right. Good.